Heavenly Father, we come before you with open hearts, eager to listen to your word. Fill us with wisdom and understanding as we meditate on your teachings. Guide us to live out the truth of the gospel in our daily lives, always seeking to grow closer to you. May your spirit lead us in all that we do. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Reading 1, 1 Corinthians 1 verses 17 to 25. For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom and eloquence, lest the cross of Christ be emptied of its power. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, the intelligence of the intelligent I will frustrate. Where is the wise person? Where is the teacher of the law? Where is the philosopher of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God the world through its wisdom did not know him, God was pleased through the foolishness of what was preached to save those who believe. Jews demand signs and Greeks look for wisdom, but we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those whom God has called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. Responsorial Psalm, Psalms 33 verses 1 to 2, 4 to 5, 10 to 11. R. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Rejoice, you righteous. In the Lord, praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-stringed lyre chant his praises. R. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord the earth is full. R. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The Lord brings to naught the plans of nations. He foils the designs of peoples. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart, through all generations. R. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Gospel, Matthew 25 verses 1 to 13. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them. But the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen. I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. We thank you for the gift of your wisdom, which surpasses all human understanding. Help us to remain vigilant in our faith, always ready to welcome you into our lives. May we rely on your strength and guidance as we seek to live according to your will. Fill our hearts with your love and grace, so that we may be prepared to enter the joy of your kingdom. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.